So I have the HP LSI 9207. It's an OS bus adapter. It has an one connector, one uh, internal connector, and one external connector, as you can see. Uh, so you could hook up, uh, you could use the internal connector to hook up like an expander to it, or you can just hook up four drives if you want to, and then. Uh, you could use this uh, connector to hook up like uh, hook to another system with uh, more drives or whatever so uh, basically that's what I would use it for I bought this because in the future I might want to create another DAS like uh, another uh, JBOD another JBOD kind of uh, system without a motherboard or, or anything or a CPU and uh, just uh, connect them to my NAS through this card basically so uh, I'll still be able to use uh, the drives that I have on the other system basically so let's just say I have my hard drives on in the, the NAS in the NAS case and I still want to use them in there so uh, I would use this uh, connector over here to hook up to an expander that uh, can connect up to uh, 16 drives and then I could uh, also connect another expander from that one expander to connect another 20 drives so you could hook up up to I think I read online up to 60 or maybe even more I don't, I don't really, really remember but you can really like milk this dry let's just say that it comes with a fairly nice heatsink which I will put like a 40 millimeter fan on it because these can get really really hot and I have the fan for it already but I will not use this card right away I do want to run it on the, a system that I'm uh, right now like a test bench just to see that it works and uh, yeah I'm curious about this connector I have to I haven't bought the AD88 to AD88 uh, connector yet, so uh, in theory I think it should work well. The idea that I'm planning to use this uh, to connect another uh, DAS enclosure with uh, another 40 drives or so. That way uh, you don't have to use two motherboards, two systems. It's just one system that runs everything, runs like up to 80 drives, so that will be crazy. All on this SAS HBA. Uh, so yeah, I uh, just hope uh, this works well and I'm gonna be testing it to, s to make sure it's also running on the IT mode because that's like the most important thing right now and uh, well this one too I wanted to test this one but I still need to buy a cable for it but it's okay. So yeah, uh, I'll pick this back up once I have it uh, connected to my uh, test bench. Okay, so I have the HP LSI 9207i E uh, connected to the system right here. And it's booting. Let's see, just gotta keep uh, it's blinking over there. I just have to see that we can invoke the thing right here. See that it detects it. That yeah, goes into the BIOS, but it didn't let me. Didn't let me get into the device BIOS. So how do I know that it works? Mm, that's a good question. Well, it got into the system, but I didn't see that. Let's try again. I forgot which one do you have to click on the. Yeah, I forgot. Basically. I think F2 or F1 or something.
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But let's see that it detects it on the device manager or something. Please start to see that and detects it. Let's see. It's kind of hard maneuvering like this. Device manager. Not here. Hold on a second. Uh, storage controllers. Okay, so we have the LSI adapter SAS2 230 uh, Mustang. I think that's the one. So yeah, it detects it, but it doesn't have any BIOS to it or something. I don't know why, but it detects it. I think. I think it's okay. I just have to. Uh, Hook up drives to whoa 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 this is extremely hot oh my god oh my god it's burning I can barely put my finger on it it's burning my finger oh my god it's so hot yeah this thing really has to have uh, a fan on it it's burning hot dude it's gonna be bursting flames in a second I'm pretty sure okay so I'm just going to turn it off but uh, yeah, I'm going to be putting a fan on it later on. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you uh, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned for more. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.